Right, I shall get this done now because I'm just about to set my TV up and after that <laughs> I won't be here. <laughs> this is Monday's Cambridge Evening News. This is how fast I get around to things. Um, so Cambridge Police apparently refocused their efforts to stop crime. Now, give them the Jews, as I always say, there is stuff in here about stabbings being dealt with and some bloke they had to apprehend who was waving a fake gun about. And that's not funny because it, you can't tell easily always if it's a real gun or not. But, but, and I do, I the thing that what's it, I do, you know, I'm going to stress, City's crime clamp down. That's the fucking headline, right, on the front fucking page. First thing on the list, speeding drivers. That's all you fucking do, Cambridge Police. Apparently, until this point, speeding drivers, louts, and now knife thugs are the target of police action. Well, I'm glad you finally realised that 17 people a day are being stabbed. To be quite honest, the Met Police don't seem to have. They're fucking clueless, apparently. Um, according to Casita Dick, they're doing a wonderful fucking job. Um, do stay tuned, I'll have a bailiff for you to phone up. Um, road safety work was carried out with high visibility speed enforcement and enforcement of traffic offences. There's a fucking speed camera on every corner in fucking Cambridge. If it's not fucking stationary, it's fucking handheld. Oh, bloody hell. I'm getting overexcited. I, I mean, it's fucking incredible. It's, you know, I'm so glad they've actually finally started to help victims of crime instead of, you know, just picking on victims of crime. Um, but this is what made me chuckle. They have anti -disperse, uh, disbursement orders for antisocial behaviour. And it says, this power is only authorised when an officer of rank inspector is satisfied that it is proportionate. Well, there was Inspector Paul Rogerson that said, I should have known I was being arrested because I got in the back of a marked police vehicle with uniformed officers present. So he's a fucking idiot. Because I was never read my rights. So, you know, I think you need to rank higher than inspector. Um, this is for a guy, a Facebook friend of mine called Paul Patterson. Who wrote this? I know it's backwards. It's my council tax stance. Um, he's, he's written another one as well. Now, they're only a few quid from Amazon, I think it was. I've got the first one, or the, I'm not sure. This may be the second one. I don't know. I haven't, sorry, mate. I haven't done a lot of reading since I've got my contact lenses, to be honest. But I'm getting new proper reading glasses next week. The suit my prescription. So. so this is Paul Patterson. He's on Facebook. He's being harassed by one of the lovely bailiffs. Um, so this, ironically, is Mr. Love. Uh, you can email. He works for Chandler's. You can email info at Chandler's. C H A N D L E R S dot limited dot uk um this is a notice of enforcement agents attendance yes well very good you've managed to turn up and post a letter tribunal courts and enforcement act 2007 schedule 12 taking control of goods now pay no attention to these fucking acts guys because they say exactly what they want them to say they make it sound completely normal that these guys can just turn up, walk into your house and take all your stuff. Right? They're all specially designed for this shit. So, unpaid council tax. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, I have attended today with the intention of removing your goods and chattels. Now, I've never heard of that word before. I might have to look that up later, actually. C-H-A-T-T-E-L-S. Chattels. Hmm, it's very middle ages, that, isn't it? To discharge the above debt owed to Now this is down in Cornwall, and he's literally just put Wickham, which is the name of a town. Not Wickham Council, or, or Wickham District Council, or Borough, whatever the fuck it is. He's actually literally just put above debt owed to Wickham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What a fucking twat. You have been served a compliance notice and an enforcement notice. Well, again, you managed to turn up and post a letter through the door and have failed to pay the outstanding debt. The, I don't know what he scored out there. Possibly warrant. But it's the liability order is now at the stage where you have been directed to remove and sell your items to cover the debt and costs outstanding. Now, can I just point out this, this minor sort of error in translation here? Because it says, I've attended today with the intention of removing your goods. And, and down here it says, where we have been directed to remove and sell your items. Now, if you attended today with the intention of removing goods, and I don't know what date this was. This was actually today, was it? The 8th. It is the 8th today, isn't it? I think. Well, it was last time I looked. Maybe it's the ninth. No, it's the eighth. So he's reattending the premises today. So I don't know whether he posted this at stupid o'clock in the morning or not. And may remove your goods. But you had the chance to do that this morning, mate. The removal can be done in your absence if I apply at the magistrate's court for a warrant of entry. But you just said you intended to remove the goods and you were coming back to remove the goods. So why do you need a warrant from the magistrate's court to remove the goods? Doesn't really make sense, does it? Um, <laughs> Mr. Love, enforcement agent. Now pay attention, kids. 07740 I shall repeat that. 07740 Five two three three zero. So do phone up and give Mr. Love your love, will you? Tell him how delightfully pleased you are with the way he's blatantly flagranting the law and pretending to have powers of arrest and removal. Please do. Because I know it would make him happy. Um, and if you're on Facebook, put the recording up and tag me in it. <laughs> right, so, yeah. Fucking, these bailiffs are all fucking full of shit, aren't they? But hey, bailiff guys, council guys, Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire Police, you made my life a living fucking hell. And I intend to make your lives a living fucking misery for as long as I fucking live. Okay?